Right then, bit of a unplanned video here. I didn't realise Luke were going to be coming today. Hiya. But he's here now, and I won't go as far as saying he called me out because he's, uh, he's not that boastful. But we're basically planning to go off-roading together at some point. And uh, yeah, so I'm going to take the Tureg and he's going to take his patrol. So quick scoop. So this is five litre and I've got a lot to make up for because I've only got three litres. So big turbo, hopefully. We'll do the trick, but we'll see that. Yeah, mine are not that big. But we'll have to see, won't we? Yeah. So I think because he's here, the idea was to obviously introduce a video while we were off-roading, but he's here now, dropping a car off at the body shop. We'll not say why it's here, but <laughs> <coughs> there's a story there as well. But we'll have a little drive for each of us cars on the road, and then when we go off-roading, maybe we'll swap over depending on how scratchy trails are, because I know he really looks after this, like, <laughs> as much as he can, so we'll... Uh, and I don't, want, I don't want to scratch his baby. So we'll go for a drive and see how we get on. Yeah. So this was a luxury SUV until I put knobbly tyres and still, snorkels on it. It's, this is luxury to me. <laughs> it is good to be fair, it is still good. Like if you had these tyres on a Defender, your ears would bleed oh, yeah, at yeah. 30 mile an hour. Yeah, there's a bit of road noise in there, the patrol. See, I've not got an industrial estate where I can hoon round like you are. <laughs> As is a upmarket burn yard. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You've well, that's what you need to build next, then, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. A burn yard. That's an idea. You've got a place where everybody just like sets everything on fire, which means you can set tires <laughs> on fire. And uh... yeah, there is a lot of induction noise. Isn't there? Yeah, there's all sorts going on. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's everything a child would like, which is good if you still got an inner child, so it works all right. What's that other noise? Is that that's just wind, wind on there. wind on that? I think yeah. Oh wow. Okay. It's really windy today though. Yeah, so. it is bad. But that's good if you can hear external wind noise. That means it's it's not pretty, that noisy. Pretty, nah, pretty quiet. Have you done the sound test with the sound meter? I've done it in the patrol. Seventy decibels. It is. Is that what it is? I don't it know. It cruise about fifty mile an hour. Yeah. I don't think I've got, got an one. No, I've not. I haven't got it. I'm, I'm not that posh, am I? No, this is yeah, surprisingly um, refined to drive. And that speedo's like 10 or 15 percent hard, so we're doing like 60 now. Oh right, not, okay, not far off. We'll not be far off. Yeah, that makes sense. But it's alright, isn't it? It's not shaking the steering or anything, no, is it? No, it pulls nice and straight. I'm surprised. I'm yeah. surprised. Well, this has still got air suspension on it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, if I have another problem with it, I'll probably ditch it and put coils on. But it won't be as comfy with coils. You can tell the difference. <laughs> Look yeah, at that. It's been smashed to bits there, hasn't it? Don't know what happened. How has that even happened? Just one day we just came out and it was like that. Somebody in the private plane smashed Maybe. it into a blade on the Maybe. wind farm. It was really windy that day, but wow. Yeah. That's like an iconic part of Grime Fork, right? Yeah, it is. They, they, can't get rid of, they can't get rid of it. That's a lot better than the Angel of the North. I don't yeah. <laughs> can't even speak with my mouth's that cold. <laughs> I know it is cold out there. I mean, I think, like, obviously, you can hear the tyres. Yeah, you can. But <laughs> It's not absolutely outrageous though, because like the car's so well yeah. insulated, there's such a sensory yeah. deprivation chamber yeah. standard, aren't they? That it's like, these, it's these were like, <clears throat> I think they were, I think this was like 55, 60 grand new, this car. What year was it? Uh, 57, so 2007. Oh, right, yeah, oh yeah, it's facelift. Isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. This were at a time when VW were deciding to build everything and didn't care if they made a loss on yeah. the higher end stuff, so. Yeah. Like, like when they, like 2003 these came out, didn't they? Like Bugatti, yeah, yeah. Lamborghini, all that, when they were spending a lot I loved money. mine, I thought it was great. I sent you yeah. an email back in however long ago about tuning right. it. Right. <laughs> there were boat anchors and two and a half, so they were really, yeah, in, in yeah. the end, anyway. Too small an engine for yeah. that big car, but yeah. it did everything it should do. Yeah. Just, yeah. yeah. Off roading, I imagine there's no problem with it, because so they've got plenty of torque off idle. It was so. a manual. Yeah. So, like, that was. It, it made it awkward to drive, the, the autos are much nicer. Yeah, they still get in way of gears and stuff Yeah, as well, it felt it? really awkward, it didn't yeah. feel right to be in a luxury car then. I think once you start going bigger than a crossover, there should just be autos. Yeah. Just yeah. no need for a manual. Yeah. Apart from in the patrol. <laughs> I think... Um, I always like mechanical injector pump. Mechanical gearbox. Yeah, yeah. Like that's got to, it, it's got to blend together. There is times where 
you wish you had a manual in this when you're just doing odd little thing where it's like wanting to do weird stuff but yeah but the rest of the time if you're driving it and just you want a bit of comfort yeah this is the answer well, like so we did you said this is an ace ace and gearbox yeah okay yeah which i think toyota and everybody uses these at this point this one like anyway. yeah it's got away right these are like the strongest gearbox that anybody had in, in anything <laughs> so they put it in like everything got here around that sort of time um another thing like i noticed the exhausts are really really quiet yeah um is there a box have you got sound is it that one yeah 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 it's, um, it's still got the cats in because it's like nearly an engine art job to get them out okay. so that's the only thing it's got everything else is beat some that is we <laughs> we've got gearbox to do as it's told so like it, it kind of wafts yeah yeah, yeah. so like you can tell you you're moving it's not fast by any stretch, but it's not slow either. But I know what you're saying about the gearbox delay. It's just, just that you're bit. waiting all the time. Yeah. When you put it into off-road, it tightens everything up. So if I kick it down now... Yeah, that's not too bad. Yeah. Like if, you it, it, a... if you put it into manual, so what we're in now, fifth, knock it down to four, and then just let it have it now. Let's do the downshift. Did downshift? Oh, you went all the way down. No, it kicked me. Yeah, yeah. But the, it's... Yeah, okay. The gearbox is what ruins this, that's why when everybody's saying why didn't you tune it, make it faster, do all this extra stuff, it'd just well, make it worse off road. And you know the 722.6 that was in that common rail car that I built? Yeah. The one that you tune? Yeah. You can't do any tuning with the gearbox in that. Right. So in the end what I ended up doing is getting a, a valve, an upgraded valve body. Ah, you got it from America or something. Yeah, like yeah, yeah. So it basically just let more hydraulic pressure through all the time. It was yeah. like permanently fifty percent more in every so whatever it is. You're locking the torque converter up quicker and easier. Yeah, yeah. and yeah. That, that transformed it. Yeah. I'll tell you what is nice about this the steering's really nice and light. Yeah. It's but you've got a lot of feel when you're off-road as well. Yeah, well, you yeah. Can, I mean, can. I love I love light steering. Yeah. You know, people are all for... I know in a, in a race car, right, but <laughs> if it's big, then I'm yeah. like, yeah, I want it easy. Yeah. That is nice. Heated seat's nice and hot. Yeah, yeah, you feed yourself. You feel like you feed yourself. No, I like it. <laughs> I, put, I put mine on just I don't mean I like, but... I yeah, you like pee yourself. <laughs> That's a different thing altogether. No, 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 no. <laughs> but I think, for how good it is off-road, it's still good on-road. Yeah. That's the... Yeah. Because like, I did Rothwell off road, absolutely destroyed it all day, yeah. jet washed it, and drove to Lake District yeah. the day after. So it's like. And as far as like engine reliability for this, is it never, pretty good? Never had any problems with the engine. I've had the usual oil leaks that these have, because people things. don't replace any gaskets on them. Yeah. Um, what else has it had? Yeah, just oil leaks, so it was just like the rocker cover gasket, tandem pump. Um, this is where, as usual, you win because the V-dub stuff, the engine and gearbox, maybe not the gearbox so much in this one, but is decent in the first place. Yeah. I'm physically picking cars with bad engine yeah. and gearboxes, but with good, well, engines, good drivetrains. Yeah, yeah. So it's a very different... Yeah, yeah, you're having to cobble two different, yeah, two yeah, different yeah. cars together. Whereas... Yeah, which always ends in misery. Yeah, yeah, usually. But we didn't right, realise... Right, yeah, yeah. yeah. We didn't realise when we got this, like it's still in comfort. I bring sport, it's not roll as much as well. But the, oh, uh, <clears throat> you can get these with factory disconnect anti roll bars, just press a button and it just pops them out. Have they got them already? Yeah, yeah I have yeah. permanently disconnected the back. Have you? That's why it lifts the wheel. Right, right. I imagine this would if you did all that stuff to it, like, but I wanted to keep it so it weren't too it, boaty on It don't feel safe when you No, no, it. that's the problem, innit? That's You've got to gun it at the same time as like turning in. It takes a bit of doing it, yeah. but it's funny when it does. Scrub curb if he's not left here enough room. Curbs are not a worry when you're in this car. The the most induction noise is like a, a thousand to fifteen hundred. Yeah. Like it's um, not when really you're cruising, it's not that bad. So when you're off-road is it doing that a lot? Um, yeah, yeah, it's a bit annoying really. I think what you what you could do is just put Could a little... you face snorkels out that way? <clears> so it'd it was... probably be quite if you did that and it and it, we've put them at the top of the finished part of the car on top yeah. of roof skin, so that's not helped. Final thoughts before we take it out of this car and make the video not make any sense. Um, yeah, I liked it a lot. I think that those tyres you've got on are the most aggressive tyres you could possibly have. They're yeah. like one tier off being full on Chevron tractor tyres. <laughs> yeah. um, and I think that if you just, I mean, they're not bad as it is. I think that if you went down just like one step to like like those, yeah. you know, like a- Yeah, yeah, they're not too bad. Like a, like a, a tough all-terrain, 
I don't even think there'd be much noise in the car. No, I had rugged terrain before and that wall, you didn't notice. And another thing about this, which you notice, with it being independent suspension, it goes straight, it follow, It goes where you steer it, whereas like stuff with straight <coughs> axles, when you start to lift them and all Land Rovers and, you know, like yeah. the Patrol, you feel like you're constantly, it, it feels like you're constantly kind of a bit on ice, you know, you're yeah, always the, like the, the, the body and the car's moving independently yeah. of the wheels all the this time. This doesn't, this, this feels yeah. like driving, a big golf. Yeah, yeah. Which is nice. All, all the way. Starts up nice. Yeah. I'm yeah. definitely going to have to lower this seat down. <laughs> yeah, do it. How do you do it? I don't know. Um, <coughs> yeah, it's what's happening. It's got handbrake. Oh, it's got it all, yeah. It's got everything. <laughs> yeah. That clutch is like super easy. It's nice, that, isn't it? Has that is like a, a Mark IV golf. Yeah, yeah. Has he got like a mental clutch? Yeah, sax well? racing. That's it? Yeah, well, sax performance, yeah. whatever you want to call it. Yes, it's got the the absolute bad boy of all the clutches in it. Yeah, it feels all right, isn't it? I know, it's amazing, isn't it? It's got, it's obviously it's six cylinder in it, so you've got, and these engines are like super high compression, so they still actually make power off boost, don't they? Not a lot, but. Yeah, not a lot. Is this your first 606 drive? My dad had them when we were growing up. Yeah, 605 and 606. That doesn't yeah. count. Sports, we had we a lot of throttle in sports though, haven't it? Yeah, uh, yeah, and this is a fairly decent sized turbo, yeah. yeah. What's this, two, like an S200? This is an S200, a billet S200. Yeah. It's got a um, twin scroll manifold on it, but the housing's single. Yeah. So it's helping with the pulse, but it's not really. What sort of size cop wheels in these then? Uh, 52 inducer. So it's like X-Dukes of 70. Uh, yeah, something like that. It's the it's the normal S200 SXE with a 52 yeah. inducer. So I've got like 249 more wheels on the V10, so it's a bit different. 49 inducer? No, X-Dukes Tiny little things. You can, can drive it normal, I know. can't you? I know. Like it's got the disco feel. Yes. I've drove a lot of discos. And yeah, like yeah. Lift. Yeah. Because they've got stiffish springs on these as well, haven't they? Yeah, well, yeah, the, this, this, this feels very much like it did originally. Yeah. So putting the lift kit on and made it you're harder not, You've not softer. ruined it at all, like <laughs> No, it's pretty much the same. It's like you've got that, haven't you, with solid yes. axles. You've got that, like... Very different, yeah. Vagueness on steel. Vague, yeah. yeah. It's not, like, too... No, it's not terrible, no, no, no. no Is the speed of accurate in this, or uh, A little bit over. So it's like, if it's doing say 60, it's doing like 62. So there's, there's, only, there's, there's only five, there's only that five. Is that it? That's, all that's it, it, that's it. That's yeah, patrol gear ratio. Yeah, we're revving a bit high, haven't we? Yeah, but that's what the 606 wants. Yeah, you don't want to be sat at 12. Yeah, no, it bogs it down, no, it's yeah. Not, the engine's not noisy, you just, yeah. you're just looking at that. Yeah. The, if you put like, say, because this has got 8.5 mil injector pump on it, if you put like a six on this, it makes them a lot softer and smoother. So you, like, you can hear a lot of that. Right. Yeah, yeah. I imagine these pumps are noisy just on the yeah. on the bench, aren't they? These yeah. will make a lot of yeah. you can hear it. Tire noise as well. Yeah. I don't think that, that I don't think it's that noisy in here though. It's not crazy, no. I think if you took the snorkels away, the Turek's quieter, but I think this is probably no noisier than the Turek. No, it's not bad, is it? Why don't you get your um, get a decibel meter and do a proper yeah, yeah. full fact. You need to do not sixty as well. It's not, as quick as this. <laughs> it's not as quick as this. Is it warm enough to like? Yeah, give it a little. Yeah, yeah. In, in this gear, you want to give, give it right round. It's like a petrol. Yeah, yeah. Always um, six. I would probably five and a half. Five and a half. Yeah. I'm gonna wait till I'm in a straight line. So I know what. It's not that so bad. No, 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 it's not that bad. It's dry enough. Is it? It's just yeah. That's what's good about a big turbo. It's just always spinning once it's spinning, isn't it? It opens early that wastegate though, doesn't it? 2.7 bar, so. Is it? Yeah. As soon as you put your foot down. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you like that, don't yeah, you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't like these bar water turbos. They're just they're not not this. The, the, what I'm saying is that they're not normally that responsive. It's yeah. like the combination of the manifold, this new twin scroll casting. Yeah. It's quite small. Yeah. That inlet and stuff all together just seems to have made it really like yeah. 
for a big turbo, it's made it really quite responsive. I mean, it's not responsive compared to like a PD. No, with, no, no. You know, you put your foot down and it. But, but it, yeah, well, it one of these. Is when good. the revs are up, that's the only downside to the wastegate turbo. The revs have got to be up. Yeah. Which, yeah. when you've got an OM six or six, that you've got at least a thousand more than most direct yeah. injection. Yeah. 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 Because when people are revving these to seven and eight thousand, they're not actually making any usable power. Do no, they? no, they're, do, they're destroying them for a video. Yeah. Like, it will just destroy it. Yeah. Uh, they won't sustain. Like past six thousand. They won't sustain so. past six. talking it down now? No, 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 I, I, I'm just, that is the downside, a big, a big laggy diesel on an off-road car, isn't it? you've got to keep it going, so that's like three grand. Smoke surprising. No, it's it's like, yeah, I've got it's it no quite worse than a, no worse than a, a PD with 250 horsepower. Yeah, yeah. I've got it down quite low. Um, Hurt the power at all? Turn yeah, yeah. Around. Just I took about 15 horsepower off it right. to make it acceptable on the road. Yeah. Because uh, it was obnoxious. The pump's 210 cc, and to give you an idea, a um, 120 cc pump will make about 400 horsepower. Right. So it's so a big. The pump's way oversized. That's for what right. You're making. Yeah. Is that like so? It's like a 600 horsepower pump, probably. Yeah, six. Yeah, set, probably 800, but. There's, and the RPM limit on this pump is stupidly high as well, which is, it wasn't, the, the pump and engine wasn't built for this car. No. Uh, but Can I break yeah. it Yeah, 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 do What's it. What's it going to do if you rip it all the way around? Just stop revving? Maybe, yeah, well, just shift it at six. <laughs> Put the window down, crack the window down, and do it. Give it some. Very <laughs> first, yeah. Yeah, give it some. <laughs> I don't know if I like the wastegate underneath. I can smell the diesel. That well, I think I don't know what we can smell. That might be. Um, that might be the diff that's burning, because oh, the wastegate dr uh, screamer drops straight onto the diff. Right, yeah, you're not making it more reliable. Than that. <laughs> <laughs> it's to warm the oil up. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Makes it more efficient. It's like even part throttle, the turbo is doing what it needs to do, isn't it? You, yeah. You've got... Even if you bang it in top, like from about 2,000, it's like trying to pull. Yeah, yeah, It'll exactly. open the screamer at under 2,500. Right. Which is good. Yeah, like I say, they're not normally, you know, when people go, oh, I've, stick to, I've stuck a HX35 on a 606, you know, like a lot of people do do that. Yeah. They, they don't perform like this at all. Right. Like, it's very. It's surprising because that's a proper diesel turbo as well. Yeah, they? no, no. These are not really. But these are marketed as a petrol turbo to most people, aren't they? Yeah. But they're actually a diesel. Yeah, they diesel are. They, yeah, they are. Compressively. Yeah. yeah. Um, This engine, in something like this, will like a super responsive auto, like an eight ZF8 or something like oh, that. Oh yeah. So you could load it up and get the spool at low RPM. And then it'd keep going into yeah. limp mode because of electronics and stuff. Yeah, 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 maybe. We're building um, some stuff for that eight speed, and I've got, I know somebody that's put an eight speed ZF behind a 606, but All right. I've had such bad experiences with the 72.6 being like standalone controller yeah. and unreliable yeah. that I don't want to go anywhere near them. Like the worst thing you've got to worry about with a manual is either breaking it, misshifting, or having an heavy clutch, but yeah. like it's something like this. I know they're like, this is standard power assisted clutch, yeah. so. Yeah. I, like I say, it, it seems like the gear ratios suit the engine, just a lot of things suit the engine with this yeah, car. It's quite, these gear ratios in a car, It'd be too the, too low. You'd not, you'd you'd not accept it, would you? No. But, but it really does seem to yeah, suit the car. It's fine. Like like now, you're like, I wish I had more. 
yeah. and drive it appropriately. For common rails, the 320 CDIs are much better. Yeah, they'll spool the turbo easier. Yeah, well, off, you know, like no boost whatsoever, they actually produce a lot yeah. better power, whereas That's these what, seem to struggle. What have these got? This is, is it fixed timing on this one still? No, uh, no, got it's got a um, centrifugal timing yeah. advance, so yeah. yeah, just two weights on the yeah. chain drive. So how much have you got? Would you, do you know, obviously? Or? We measured it, didn't we? Was it nine? Do you remember the centrifugal timing? Yeah, gear that, about nine and a half degrees. On the gear? Adjustment. On the gear, yes. so, so double that, 18 right. uh, to the engine. So it'll go from whatever you fix it at, yeah, so it'll be, this more. one's injecting 22 uh, before top dead centre, also static. A lot, of time, a lot of timing already. Yeah. And what then, the drive like if you have it? Because it'll spool the turbo a lot more if you retarded it, won't it? It does, it yeah. does, uh, but it just makes some white smoke and horrible. Yeah. It makes them horrible everywhere except turbo spool. Yes, basically, <laughs> yeah. 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 This one is sort of quite on the advanced Which side. It. Yeah, down, yeah. that's it, yeah. Yeah, because that's the thing, like with a common rail, we'll have five degrees, probably five degrees advance up to 30, but you, you're varying it at throttle, everything, you're not just varying it on RPM, it's varied yes. with everything. At, um, so like, uh, yeah, idle, you stagger the injection, in, in it like a... You'll have like five pulses. Yeah, to, to make it dead quiet. smooth and yeah. quiet. Because yeah. these are just single point injections. Single, yeah. Which it, it, is... It's a single pin till nozzle as well. Yeah. There's no, there's no, it's just one hole that it comes out of straight but into a pre But they're as refined as an indirect is going to get, aren't they? Yes. These are, you're not going to get a... The, as an indirect even... injection engine goes, they yeah. are. But I mean, like I say, this one with that big pump, it, it is a lot more harsh sounding. Yeah. Yeah, if with you built this specifically, you'd, you'd yeah. have gone for that smaller pump. I think so, yeah, because yeah. for the power level that I'm pushing out of this, I could have probably got it with a smaller yeah. pump. But yeah. the Did you have gone smaller turbo and see what it did? Or? Um, no, knowing that how strong the patrol drive line was, I always wanted to go silly with it. Right. Um, but if it was just a daily driver, like a Land Rover, for example, yeah, yeah we use the hybrid, just much smaller. Yeah. Uh, 300 horsepower, absolute maximum crank yeah. horsepower. Do they still rev like this as well? When you go? Uh, 4,000 they fall flat, whereas this, it right. doesn't seem to ever fall flat, it'll just keep no, going no, and going no, and going. No, it never felt like you wanted to change. No, no, just, you could have kept going past six and it had yeah. gone, it, 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 yeah. What, has it not got any hard limit in these then? They'll just keep going? No, they, they have like a soft, it kind of like dies off soft, so um, the governor just starts to obviously pull the rack back. It doesn't have an ability to like stop it no, dead. No. So like if I'm setting up an injector pump, um, I'll say set it to 5,200 RPM. Um, that's the start of defuel. Yeah. But it will have pulled the fuel to six. Yeah. So it's like a gradual from five to. You're building down it to buy architecture at pump on having that yes. 800 RPM. I can't, I can't shorten it unless yeah. I change the weights of the centrifugal. Yeah. You know, and so it'd be nice if you could have like a 200 RPM when you're <laughs> I know it would, it. it would, but no, you can't. It's too but, soft. And that's a problem, of course, because like if you. Set like this pump, it's got um, 6,000 where it starts to defuel, and then that'll go on to yeah. like seven. So, this might, yeah, yeah. Um, the problem is, if you spin it up in the wet and you're not paying attention, you might send it to seven and damage yeah. something, yeah. Um, which I'm sure I probably have done in this loads of times, yeah. But, but <laughs> yeah. for whatever reason, I mean, this, mud in your mind. this engine as well is totally stuck. The right. internals are upgraded, it's got standard rods, it, it hasn't even been opened, it literally right. is a and this engine used to be in my charger, you know, my 680 yeah. horsepower, right. 1968 Dodge Charger. So it's had an hard life. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> and it never got rebuilt between that. I literally did my due diligence and compression tested it, yeah. <laughs> make sure it didn't have bent rods, Yeah. and then chucked it in this, and it's just like, it's still going. It feels all right. I wouldn't it? advise it. <laughs> but they're, uh, yeah, I'm, I think this is, this is all right. I, I knew it'd be alright anyway. Ooh, I've got yeah. Ryan's seal of approval there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's as good as it comes, I think. Matt. Yeah, that is yeah, like yeah, that's yeah, a pretty oh, high dear. rating. Oh man. dear. Well, we'll see. <laughs> we're all doing this like we're rubbing it on. Money, money, money. <laughs> no, it's because it's absolutely freezing. It is freezing.